Well, hello, uh, Sam and Roz. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for doing this interview. And uh, we'll go straight to Sam. Uh, Sam, can you tell us a little bit about how you became a Christian? Yes, yeah, so um, obviously, well, maybe not obviously, but I grew up in a Christian family. So going to church was very much a part of my childhood growing up. And as I'm sure a lot of people who grew up as Christians can relate to, you know, the stories kind of became, uh, I guess, like a, like a big part of my life. So it's possible that I considered myself a Christian before I was a Christian. Um, but then when I, I want to say 15, 15 so. sounds about right. Um, I went to a summer, it's like a summer Christian arts camp called Curtains Up. Am I allowed to say Curtains Up? Yeah. Cool Curtains Up. Um, and I think that was the first time that it really started to like hit home for me. It might have been something to do with being in a different environment with different uh, Christians and hearing the stories told a different way and so in a different way. Um, but all I know is that summer kind of really came alive for me. And that's kind of when I um, devoted myself to following Christ. And um, so you have a diagnosis of dyspraxia, which yeah. I'm sure lots of people don't really know what that is. Um, so could you tell us a little bit about what, what that means and what challenges that can um, present for you? So um, dyspraxia, I mean, it affects me in many different ways. Uh, but some of them is like I, I have difficulty with things like coordination and organisation um, processing speeds there's a I mean there's a, a load of, of ways that it um, affects me um, I guess what um, a potential challenge could be that like not a lot of people really know what it is so if you say like if I say like I'm dys dyspraxic people might not necessarily know what that means or how they need to help me with it if that makes any sense um but it's also things like you know getting lost on the way to places and um when I was in school being late for lessons or more generally in terms of social life particularly at school kind of being I guess kind of like the weird one you know because I guess my brain works slightly differently to a lot of people um so yeah I guess in terms of light bullying as well <laughs> and uh Rose, you're sam's mum yeah um what uh, were there any challenges as you were bringing sam up and getting that diagnosis and, and all those challenges that he was facing yeah i think probably we as parents and as sam's sister libby probably faced more challenges than he did because he was blissfully aware he was just being sam um bless him um, but it was immensely difficult. School was problematic. Um, you know, trying to work out what what is what is the issue with our child. He's not like other children, but what are the, what are the um, why is he not not like other children? And trying to help Sam understand the way he is, and trying to help teachers and his friends understand how to help him was, was, it was just a, it was a battle, a real battle. We're, we're very fortunate in that Sam's very high functioning. So um, that, that was a blessing, but yeah, it was, it was, when he finished his GCSEs, we felt the family deserved the GCSEs as well as Sam. <laughs> yeah, big <they> triumph. <laughs> and um, so I will, uh, back to Sam, um, how do you think God has helped you with uh, the different challenges you've faced and um, what has he taught you through that? Well, it's, um, it's interesting because it's, it's not something I've really thought about in that way before. Um, but certainly I keep taking it back to school because that was the main, the main time of my life where like, it was a big kind of difficulty that you know we were trying to overcome I had certainly compared to a lot of the kids that I knew um I had like a very strong sense of self 
and like uniqueness and kind of just like being proud to be who I was, which maybe part of that is a um, dyspraxic trait, but I think knowing um, that God firstly created me to be unique and to be Sam, um, but also has, you know, like a, like a plan for me and like where I'm going, I think probably, probably helped um, in terms of that. And also being able to pray about things um, is, was um, a great blessing as well. And kind of just helping me deal with um, the challenges that I was facing at that time in sort of everyday life, you know. Brilliant. And, uh, and Roz, same question for you. Yeah, God, I have learned so much about God and about myself through being Sam's mum. I think the key point for me was when when he was around six or seven, it, it was particularly tough. We were having to do all these exercises with him twice a day, every day for 18 months without a break. And, and it was quite, um, yeah, tempestuous, wasn't it? Yes. yes. <laughs> and um, at the time I was praying with um, a friend from church regularly. Um, and she said to me one day, she said, you know, Sam's not broken. He doesn't need fixing. God knows what, what his purpose is for, for Sam. And that was, it was like, I don't know, it, it, it was transformative for me because at that point I stopped fighting this dyspraxia and sort of surrendered God, uh, Sam to God and sort of, okay, God, I'm going to trust you. It's a good way to look at it as it being just like a part of me rather than like a like an illness that needs to be fixed you know yeah. much as it does pose a lot of challenges yeah sam wouldn't be sam without his dyspraxia so we wouldn't we wouldn't change sam he's adorable oh, there right. are frustrations and there will always be frustrations going forwards you know um but yeah I, I think god has just shown how faith his faithfulness god's faithfulness to sam i yeah it, it's all god okay and sam uh last question for you if there's one thing you'd want people in the church to know about um, either dyspraxia in general or about um, how God uses the challenges we face for our good, what would it be? Um, it's a difficult one. I think the, the main thing um, I think of in terms of what I'd want people to know about dyspraxia, and I don't know how specific this is to the church or in terms of God using me or whatever. Um, but is that it's, it's more, it's more than um, being clumsy. So people tend to think like, that's what dyspraxia is, is just like, sort of like clumsiness, I mm -hmm. guess. Um, but I think I'd kind of just love people to realize that it's a lot more than that. Um, and that it affects a lot of different areas of my life and kind of the way that I, think through things and the way that I view the world and you know the way that I sort of take on the world I guess so that would be a big thing for me I mean I hate to I hate to do like a like a shameless plug but <laughs> I have I have done um a podcast um in six parts about like my dyspraxia and how it affects me, which is all still on YouTube. So um, if anybody's interested in knowing <laughs> more about how my dyspraxia affects me, I did um, like a whole thing on that. And that was like really good to finally be able to put all this stuff into words that I never put into words before. Um, so that was, that was a, a massive thing as well. And how can we find that on YouTube? Good question. It's called Adventures in the Life of a Dyspractor. Okay. That's Excellent. Adventures in the Life <laughs> of a Dyspractor. Because, like, I'm an actor and I'm dyspraxic. It's like a joke. I like it. Oh, very clever. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, um, look it up. That sounds great. And uh, Rod, same question for you. Yeah, I think for me, the, the one thing I would like people to know is that... Um, 
dyspraxia affects a lot of people a lot of ways and it is like Sam said more than just clumsy child syndrome that it is it really is a hidden disability um, and you know people just don't know about it but um, I would also like people to know that God is faithful you know and that that Sam is is just the way God intended him to be and that anybody with any kind of disability or difficulty is you know they're not broken they don't need yeah. fixing just trust trust god well thank you very much it's been a pleasure uh, to chat to you and uh, do check out sam's podcast as well because that sounds really good